Are home prices going down? Should I buy now? Should I sell now? What's happening with the real estate market? First of all, I know that we have way bigger problems that we have to deal with right now besides what the real estate market is doing. But I do have clients who are in the market who do need to make a move now and they have valid concerns. Here are the top questions that I am getting from my clients right now. Some sellers don't want people coming through their homes at this time. Other sellers are like, I'm okay with this, let's just move forward. Definitely we have a lot of rules and protocols in place for showing homes and what I do is I am bringing booties, gloves, I have a mask on and I ask my buyers to do the same. For me personally as a germaphobe, showing homes is my worst nightmare right now. I have a Halloween costume, it's you know that old dinosaur, you know that inflatable dinosaur where you're all enclosed. <laughs> I'm tempted to get that out and show homes in that just because Walking into someone's home is really stressful for me, but I will do what I can for my clients right now. If you want to wait, we have ideas and solutions for you. If you want to move forward, we definitely have a plan for you too. I don't think so. The simple fact of supply and demand is really in our favor right now, and that is what is driving this market forward. Right now, we have less than 350 listings available for sale in all of Thurston County. That is a very deep seller's market right now. A balanced market is anywhere from 1,200 to 1,500 listings, and this is per month. So we would need another 1,000 plus listings every month just to get us to balanced. And if we were in a balanced market, that would moderate prices, it would slow things down. But right now we have so much room to adjust that even if we doubled the amount of listings we have, we still are in a seller's market. 2008 was a very different time than 2020. First of all, our market now is very healthy. We are wealthier, we have stronger employment, we definitely have healthier lenders and lending practices, and there's not that recklessness out there anymore. We have been underbuilt actually for the last 10 years, so we don't have enough new construction. But again, going back to supply and demand, we still have lots of demand and not enough supply, and that alone is enough to keep this market moving forward. It has been said over and over that these times are unprecedented. They really are. This is not something that we've had to deal with in modern times and people are at a loss as to what to do and, and where to go next. At least for real estate, I can give you some advice. As for the rest of it, I don't know. Uh, because I'm still trying to figure out how I can take macaroni, a can of beans, and water chestnuts and make that into a meal. I don't know. So give me a shout out. I'd love to talk to you. Tell me how you're doing. But in the meantime, take care.